Let's talk about That's something good. Scott has experienced then so we can wake up. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Let's do it. Talk about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode 4. Let me stand next to your fire. <laughs> no, you've got to actually talk. You can't just open your mouth and look left that's, and right. That's what it was. That was my reaction to this episode. It oh, was... was it? It's an audio uh, podcast as well, though, Scott. Oh, uh, uh, right. Uh, well, <laughs> time to bring okay, out the... Uh... <laughs> um, so, we had a returning character in the form of Hellfire. We did. And as we all remember from last season, he had a chain. And everyone was like, oh, damn, it looks like Ghost Rider. <laughs> and then everything went down with the teasers. And we were like, ah, it's, it's just Hellfire. No way they got Ghost Rider. And then they got Ghost Rider. So naturally, one would assume either Hellfire will never be mentioned again. Or these two are going to throw it down. Mm. And they threw down. And it was awesome. Who cares about the rest of the episode? This shit was awesome. Um, Hellfire actually had little ball things, which were like, the fireballs from the comics, so that was fun to see. And then he pulled the chain down, and I think everyone in that moment <laughs> knew where that was going. <laughs> Robbie Reyes grabbing that chain, and then while it's on fire, and then going Ghost Rider, and then getting him with it. Ah, oh, damn, it was so good. Ah, oh. I tell you what, it like, was... yeah, two those two minutes really did overshadow the rest of the episode. But... <laughs> it's just so good to see. <laughs> Wait, it was, crap. It was, this episode it, even had the Lola and the Ghost Rider cheers. Oh, that's so good too. This episode was fucking brilliant. It, had so it many was always going to be fan service. Oh, it was as, soon, so as soon as you saw Hell... Right, so you're in an episode, you've got Ghost Rider, and you see Hellfire, and they're in a firework shop. Okay, <laughs> like... this, this, this episode is for nothing other than just having a good laugh. Everyone's going to blow up a bit of steam... In this episode, and they'll get back to the serious story next time round. But for this one, let's just let it go. And my God, did they do it right? It yes. they did so well. And they nailed the comedy as well. I mean, fits when uh, there's uh, the Doctor, me, Eva, and Fitz, and she's she's like, "Where are you from?" Most of my parts are from China, and then Fitz's like, "Canada." She's from <laughs> Canada. <laughs> she's an it's... army brat. Oh, was... <laughs> man. Oh, I just loved everything in this episode. I'd like the only problem is the um, I, I like Robbie Reyes's uncle. I was like, so he's not at all what I imagined to do with the show. But they could still change that. Like, but that's like the only slight thing. I was like, huh? They're definitely changing that then. Mm. But he did murder people, so I think they've mixed the two Ghost Riders for this because Eli couldn't be Eli. If he was still alive, exactly. So they've had to sort of mix the the ghost from Johnny Blaze into Robbie Reyes, and sort of have the 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 spirit of redemption or revenge or whatever it is they're going for sitting inside. Mm. Um. Uh, yeah, it was good though. Oh, oh, yeah. it, was, it was great. Oh, and then the. I sl- like- Stinger at the end with uh, Simmons immediately knowing Irva was a robot. Mm. <laughs> I was like, ah, yes. Yeah, yeah yes. I don't know how she figured it, but oh, I love Simmons. She's in a position for a reason, isn't she? Yeah. Oh. But seeing on the outside, we all know that you can tell that she's she's an android as well. Yeah. Very anxious not to use the term AI. Oh, life it's model decoy. Someone's going to drop it at some point. Mm-hmm. I also like the uh, thing about Fury. I can't remember what he says. Well, Coulson's like, Fury, he's kind of like a mentor. I was um, talking to Robbie on the... Was on the Quinja? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like, yeah. like... Like he doesn't know who Nick Fury is. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's got to be a Doctor Strange tie-in. I am so convinced that we're going to see so much S.H.I.E.L.D. related or Coulson related in Doctor Strange. I'm going to be... Oh, oh, it's I'm all so about that book. It's yeah. happen. It's- it's all gonna be the book, the dark it's hole, gonna be, it's, and we're so close to it, guys. We're so close. Well, we know what's going next it's week. Gonna, it'll be the episode before it releases in the states and after. And, uh, it's, I mean, it times uh, it, it times really well, I guess, for sort of a. What will it be by then? Um, episode five, six. No, it'll be late in that, won't it? This. Let me get a release. Anyway. 
Um, it, it'll be so a, good, be... a good two-parter, uh, and it will resolve this storyline by the time we're a bit bored with it and we want something a bit different. So I'm guessing that the Dark Hold, that which is a thing out of the comics, is going to mm. have to go to Doctor Strange for safekeeping at the end or whatever. Um, kind of like, even if it's Coulson just like, oh, we left it with... Um... With a with a doctor in Manhattan or something, just to like, and like he has a package from Shield in the film. I don't even care. Like, just that acknowledgement needs to happen. There's no way that doesn't happen. Shield have been we've, founded again. It's like, oh, that's gonna happen. We've had the indication that there's a bit more of a link between Strange and Shield than there have been for the other films. Incidentally, 25th of October is the official release date, but that must be here. Yeah, yeah, that's for uh, us. Yeah, that's next be a week, week later. Next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Be a week so. later, so was it the first? Mm. First of November, but um, yeah. So we've had that sort of acknowledgement already. The one thing which jumped out at me, as uh, sort of pushing away from the magic side of things for Shield, it was Coulson saying that all the gods he'd met were just alien, or something along those lines halfway through, and it was sort of putting the kibosh on magic and saying everything's alien, and that'd be quite interesting to have some other race somewhere controlling... Like, like Dimension X kind of type thing. Sort of, yeah. And that would put a bit more of an explanation onto why Strange appears to be more hack the world than pure magic. Yeah, but this is the part of Strange that disappoints me. Um, I want there to the... be demons and monsters and, mm-hmm. you know, and, and I, don't, I don't want everything Looks to be too. explainable by science and extraterrestrials and whatever, dimensions... It's kind of boring. I just want there to be magic. It's more Seriously. interesting. Yeah. When we see Sheena Gorath in that film, we're both going to freak out. No, I, and it's going to be amazing. But, but they'll just they'll have some sort of explanation, and you I... could just open a portal, and we'll see tentacles and an eye. That's all it has to be, and yeah. it'll be great. <laughs> there, I've heard that there are tentacles in the film. Yeah, but whether that. <laughs> You know, fucking space squid or whatever. It's, they're just gonna write it off as something the other the than, like the in the in the Marvel comics, they deal with like the forces of science and magic as like polar opposites, not mm-hmm. extensions of the same thing. Mm-hmm. You've got like the order of the universe in in science, and you've got the chaos in magic, and they exist alongside each other, whereas. In the movies and the MCU as a whole, they tend to see magic as an extension of science, um, and it just—I kind of—it doesn't sit right with me. It, it it limits what you can really do with it. I think. I mean, magic's a hard thing to explain because it, mm. it's one of those magic. It it, it, it offers you solutions power. that that. I know yeah. J.K. Rowling did a pretty decent job of that. Yeah, she did, um, but. They just seem to be shying away from it. Um, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that they'll be they'll be deeper down that hole. Than or, I have. or at least in Doctor Strange two or something, or Infinity War, they dive into it more. Like maybe this is just a hey guys, this is what we're doing with magic, and then we'll delve into it once it's more accepted. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a final note on the episode: the holy crap, the makeup team, the bloody sky's arm, Daisy's arm. Oh, oh it looks so messed up. Ah, oh, I was like, what? That's like, that's like body horror type shit. I was like, oh, oh. Oh, the makeup and costume team on Shield. So absolutely good. amazing. Oh, so and the teeth the gauntlets. Yes. Yes, they're back again next week. Yeah, she's, <laughs> like, she's going to have to be given something. She can't go on like this. She's just constantly complaining. I can't she could just take like, a week off or something. <laughs> just take a week off. Go, go to Florida. Go around Disneyland. Yeah. Just chill out for a bit around Disney yeah. World. Go and see Mickey Mouse. Come back. I mean, I'm sure she gets free tickets as well. You'd think so. Yeah. Um, and just just rock her back and you go, right, let's, let's get in a scrap then. Let's fight somebody. Find me a ghost. <laughs> so, that's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, like I said before, we will be talking about DC TV, but we will be talking about